Pause the video and have a go at expanding the brackets for the examples shown. Well, the first thing we can see is we have this x and this x to be multiplied together, and that will give us x squared. We then look to the outside where we can see we have the x and the plus 3. We multiply those together to give us plus 3x. We then look to the inside, which is the 7 and the x, and the plus 7 times the x, which will give us plus 7x. We then consider what is left, and we can see we have the plus 7 and the plus 3, and when you multiply those together, you will get plus 21. It's now a case of looking for the terms that are like terms, and the, these two here, plus 3x plus 7x, and of course that will give 10x, we then bring down the x squared and the plus 21, and we can see that what we've done here, we've used FOIL, and then we've simplified by collecting the like terms. We can then consider the next example, and we can see we look to the first, which is the x and the x. We multiply them together to give us x squared. We then look at the outside, which is the x and the minus 3, we multiply those together, and we get minus 3x. We then consider what's on the inside, which is the plus 7 and the x. You multiply them together, and you get plus 7x. And then, of course, you consider what is last. Now, previously, I referred to this as to what is left. But you can see that some people consider FOIL where the last letter is derived from the word last, not, as I've shown so far in this playlist, the word left. So we can say that we multiply the plus 7 and the minus 3, and that will give minus 21. We now consider the like terms, which are these two, and you will see when you have minus 3x plus 7x, you will end up with plus 4x, you then bring down the x squared and the minus 21, and you can see what we've done here. We've used FOIL, and then we have simplified by collecting the like terms. So it is useful for you to remember that when we consider this, we use first, outside, inside, left, and we took the letter, the first letter from each of the words to spell FOIL, now, there's another way in which you can do this that's often used by people. It's where you take first, outside, inside, and last, and it still spells FOIL, as you can see. So take your choice as to which one you use to help you memorize what the order of the multiplications are. But both of these examples spell FOIL, and that's the memory aid.